welcome to an episode of Clue Catchers, our Lenten series where we are detectives who are searching for clues and solving mysteries all about God during the Lenten season of preparation. Let's see what will happen this week. Hi everyone, Miss Vicki here, and I have a question for you. Do you like to solve mysteries? And would you like to be a detective with me? You would? I'm so excited about that because we today are beginning our new series, Clue Catchers, where we are all going to be detectives trying to solve the great mystery about why Jesus came to this earth. You see, we are starting the season of Lent today on Ash Wednesday. And Lent is a season of preparation. We are preparing for the best and biggest celebration we have all year long as a church, Easter. So I'm so glad you're going to be joining together with me today and throughout this Lenten season to discover more about Jesus through his the Gospels each Sunday and of course today also. Now in today's Gospel, Jesus is going to give us some really important instructions about things that we should be doing. And these are three things that we focus on during the Lenten season. So I'm going to help you understand them a little bit more. But first, before we do that, we have our opening prayer to say together and then we have a fun opening song to start learning. All right, I'll see you back soon. Time for our opening prayer. Lord, please show me what I should give up for Lent. And when I've given it up, remind me to pray to you instead, to thank you, to love you, to hear from you each and every day in Lent. Amen. Detectives, tiptoe, look high, look low, reach out, don't shout, look out and find, we search for the clues, God gives us the truth, because he loves me, because he loves you. Detectives, tiptoe. I need you to be looking for three things that Jesus is telling us he wants us to do because these are the three things that we focus on during the Lenten season. All right, you got your magnifying glass? Are you ready to start inspecting super closely today's gospel? Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform good deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no reward from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, 
Do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving might be in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not do like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogue and on street corners, so others may see them. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your inner room, close the door, and pray to your father in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so they may appear to others to be fasting. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees in hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. All right, my clue catchers, did you catch the three things that you had to find in that gospel reading that Jesus is telling us to do during the Lenten season? If you didn't, let's break them each apart. Jesus starts off today's gospel, right, by talking about how he wants his disciples to do three things. The first one he talks about is almsgiving. Now, almsgiving might have confused you, but really what that is, it's about giving either like a donation or back in Jesus' day, people would go to the temple to give their donations to their temple, their gift to the church, if you will. And what Jesus is saying is when you do that or when you donate to charity, he doesn't want you to make a big fuss about it. He is calling you to do it just because you know that is what your God, what our God really truly wants us to do is to give to others because it's the right thing to do. Not because we get praise or special pats on the back from people for doing it. It's about doing it because we know it's the right thing and we know that it pleases God. So the first thing he talks about is about how we can give to charity and special causes. The second thing he talks about is prayer. He says, don't try to make a big showy thing about your prayer because in that way you're not truly connecting to God. You know, we can pray as a group, as a community. That's what we do at Mass. We can pray as a family at mealtime or at nighttime together or maybe before bed we say prayers with our parents. But, and those are all good things. But we are called to prayer to grow closer to God, right? It's that muscle we keep building. And not because other people look at us and say, wow, they are so special because they pray so much. We're called to pray because it's a good thing and a way to grow closer to God. Did you catch? And the last thing he talked about was fasting. Now, fasting means giving up food or maybe an item. Now, sometimes it can be so hard, right? Imagine being someplace and you give up chocolate and they have chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. And you don't eat it because you've given that up. And what Jesus is saying is when you do that, don't make a big deal about your sacrifice. You're doing it to grow closer to God by denying yourself something, by saying, no, I'm not going to have that because I want to grow closer to God by showing my ability to have control, self-control. And we're going to hear a lot more about that in, next, in Sunday's Gospel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure your family subscribes to this channel because we're going to talk a lot more about what it means to not take something in or to fast from something so that we can grow closer to God. But those are the three things that he called up his disciples to, which means he calls us to do those three things, to give to charities, to fast, and to pray. And those are the three pillars of our Lenten season. These are the three things during the season of preparation we do to prepare ourselves for Easter. We are called to donate to charities, 
a little bit more during this season or donate our time if we can't we don't have money we're called to fast from things we give something up during the season of lent and also on certain days adults actually fast they eat less food during the lenten season and we your family probably does this we don't eat meat on fridays during lent that's another form of fasting of giving up sacrificing something in that way and then of course prayer prayer is so important prayer is how we grow closer to god right each and every day so during the season of lent i want to challenge you try a new prayer set or if you don't say prayers every night before bed try to do that now here's the most important thing about these lenten pillars we call them practices which means we are building these muscles through the next 40 days of lent that means that we might not always be perfect at it and that's okay our trying to do these things as much as possible is the thing that pleases god the most remember it's not about being showy about them it's about helping build a closer relationship with god and we do that during the Lenten season by these three practices, by giving things up, by donating to charities, and of course by praying. And you can also tie some of them together. If you have a candy that you love, maybe you say, I'm gonna give up that candy for the Lenten season. And you can ask your mom or dad, hey, can you take the money you would have used to buy that candy bar for me, and can we give it to a special cause that I pick? I bet your parents would be very thrilled. Or if you can't do that, think about donating some of your toys or clothes that you might have too much of to help someone else out. That is another way to sacrifice a little bit to help others and you're also giving at the same time. And then of course, prayer. We pray together every single time you watch one of these videos. And so maybe that's what you add in, making sure that you watch this video every single week or maybe it's saying your prayers at bedtime. Whatever it is, know that whatever you choose to do does it is pleasing to god because you're doing it to grow closer to him all right we are going to profess our faith and send some prayers all together to god so let's go move over and do that and i'll see you back please stand for the profession of faith respond to each with i do do you believe in god the father almighty who has told you to listen to Jesus? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who suffered, died, and rose again in glory for you? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides you on your journey of faith? I do. Aware that our Heavenly Father strengthens us when we turn to Him, let us lift up our minds and hearts in prayer. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. That our Holy Father, the Pope, and all church leaders will listen to Jesus and be strengthened by Him, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. That all people who live in sadness or fear will find comfort in the prayers and the loving concern of others. We pray, hear us, O Lord, that all of us here will accept God's guidance on the path of life. We pray, hear us, O Lord. And now, what would you like to pray for today? For all these attentions, we lift them up and say, hear us, O Lord. Thank you again for joining me this week for Clue Catchers in this very special kickoff to the Lenten season, Ash Wednesday edition. I will be back here on this weekend for the first Sunday of Lent readings as we dive deeper and try to catch all the clues that we can find in the gospel to know more about Jesus and of course, grow closer to him during this journey of Lent. You know, as we enter the season of preparation, I'm so excited to share it with you. You know, Lent 40 days, and we are going to grow so closer to God over the next 40 days. I just know it. And of course, we'll also be learning our memory verse over the next 40 days. So our memory verse for this season comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it goes like this. Believe that God is real and that he rewards everyone who searches for him. And we have hand motions to help us remember this verse. 
So first, we're going to bring our arms up and point up to him in heaven. So believe that God is real. And then we're going to pat ourselves on the back because, and that he rewards everyone who searches with our binoculars, who searches for him. Did you get that? Don't worry, if you didn't yet, we will be practicing our memory verse throughout the Lenten season. I've had so much fun with you here today, so let's end our time in prayer and in song, and I will see you back next time. Bye for now. It's now time for our closing prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a generous God and that you give us so many good things. We are sorry that we're not always generous with others. Please help us this week to be kind, to do our very best, and to be generous when we are helping others. Amen. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he loves me god made me he made everything god loves me can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he loves me I know he's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word and I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Today has been so much fun. But remember, our work as detectives is never done. So join us here next week for another edition of Clue Catchers. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on so you know when we go live with our next adventure with Clue Catchers.